Yes, can it you turn? Wanted to do an update even though I've sold out all my positions because Suntech REIT has always been one of the more interesting REIT. Uh, apart from using that basic formula, uh, revenue minus expenses equals to profit slash DPU, I'm going to go from the DPU portion first. Uh, what I'm going to show you is actually a table of the distribution from operations because uh, I wanted to use that as a gauge to know whether the REIT operations is U-turning from 2022 first quarter it started off with 62.9 million from ops and it hit the bottom on 2023 second quarter but this third quarter the income from operations it increased to 46.2 million so that's why i'm thinking hmm, is this going to be a turnaround but that is from the dpu side so let's zoom into the revenue first uh, definitely first component is the net actable area uh, Suntech REIT did not acquire any more new buildings so the acquisition or the contribution from the Minster building has already been fully accounted so from the net actable area aspect I don't see any progress so the next factor to look at is actually increasing the occupancy for the Singapore office right uh, you see that Suntech office is already at 100% ORQ 99.7% and probably the one that has a more potential to contribute a little bit more revenue is the MBFC however the peak occupancy happened in September 2022 for MBFC so for the Singapore office occupancy to increase a little bit more uh, I'll take it like a very it's like an icing on the cake next let's move to the Australia office occupancy. I don't place much hope on Southgate because uh, its occupancy rate has been declining. But if I look at 21 Harris and possibly 55 Curie to boost the, re uh, the revenue contributions from the Australia office. And for the UK side, um, Minster building has some work to do as you can see it is at around 87.3 percent in a nutshell for the office yes there's probably going to be some con revenue contributions uh, in the overseas portfolio and now let's head over to the mall as you can see for sun tank and marina bay with this picture um, september 223 occupancy rates were 98.7 percent and 97 percent and it is a good thing because the marina bay occupancy rate is increasing with that from an overall aspect of our occupancy yes probably uh, i will give it one pick and now let's head over to the next one because to increase the revenue of a rate apart from increasing the occupancy rate the next thing is also to increase the rent likewise for the rent, let's look at the office component first. So for the third quarter of 2 to 3, something surprised me, which is actually a 14% increment for the entire SG office portfolio. For the Suntech City, it is also a 14, and for the ORQ, MBFC 1 and 2, it is also a number higher than what we see in second quarter 2023. This improvement in rent reversions for at least the Singapore office portfolio uh, is a good news for me. So that's like one point to it. For the rent reversions for the Austria office, uh, it dropped from 18.9 for the first half to the third quarter, which is at 12%. And for the UK office, uh, currently it is not given. For the more, the reversions have always been positive from second quarter to two, three. It has jumped from 18.2 to 20.2. From the entire rent reversions, it seems that Suntech has also a good possibility of increasing its rental revenue from its portfolio. So that is also another one score. So up to now, a summary, occupancy uh, scores one, the rent reversion scores one. So if you like the content up to now, uh, please remember to hit the subscribe button so that you can receive more about reads. If you remember 
that equation, now I'm going to the expense part, which cause uh, REITs operate on borrowings. So down here, I'm just going to take one picture and this time it really shocked me. The floating rates increased from 42% to 45% and the financing cost is already 3.78. The debt ratio is at 42.7. What is going to happen to its financing cost? If we just do a simple uh, calculation from the first quarter of 2022, where the financing cost was at 2.31, and until now, it's almost like a 10% Kager growth rate. What is the most conservative right now whenever I do my valuations? Because uh, recently there was a price correction. Uh, it's really to identify what is going to be the annualized dividend. And up to now, uh, from Q1, to Q3, 2023, uh, I record it's around 5.3 cents. But there's a drastic drop from the previous year, which is around 8 cents. So based on this, uh, you need to go and determine if you still want to hold. Let me know in the comments below if you think what will allow Suntech read to U-turn and improve its operations. If you remember, I was talking about the Australia portfolio of Suntech Read. You might want to check this particular video because uh, in my own opinion, I feel that with the declining occupancy for Southgate, Suntech Read should sell. If not, watch the other playlist which is all about my Suntech Read investing journey. And I'll see you in those videos.